In 1985, the National Science Resources Center was founded as a collaboration between the National Academies and the Smithsonian Institution. Now known as the Smithsonian Science Education Center, our continuing mission is to transform both the teaching and learning of science. It's not just about wanting children to learn science for the sake of learning it. We want a qualified workforce. And as a business owner, I was particularly interested in this. The programs offered by the Smithsonian Science Education Center are based in research and best practices. And the LASER model, Leadership and Assistance for Science Education Reform, is the key to our success. When I look at the characteristics that are expected of people in the world of work today, and look at our I3 project and the laser model, they all align so very well. Uh, we're expecting young people to demonstrate that they can speak and write and use numbers and certainly problem solve, process information, use technology and work in teams. It's a perfect match. If we could get the whole country to understand this isn't just a science curriculum, this is a whole learning system that will get kids to have better math, they'll have better literacy, and they will love changing the world and being scientists and engineers. And that is what we need in this country. That's what we need in the whole world. The laser model includes five elements, curriculum, professional development, material support, administrative and community support, and assessment. These elements are centered around a shared vision for sustainable student-centered science education. The laser model develops leadership capacity throughout a school or district and its surrounding community. By building support for laser at all levels, we shift the culture to one of a student-centered, inquiry-based science education. That culture, it was just phenomenal. That was one of the first things that we noticed started to change within our school and district. A five-year study of the laser model funded by the U.S. Department of Education demonstrates the impact that laser has on students. Laser schools showed increased achievement on performance assessments, indicating that students are able to apply what they have learned to hands-on tasks, just as scientists conduct investigations and solve problems. Kids are so engaged, they're hands-on activities, they're learning about things they're curious about. They actually get to handle things rather than watching somebody else do it, and they're not demonstrations. They're measuring things, they're creating things. They're looking through microscopes, identifying what they see in there, discovering things they didn't know were there. So their curiosity is highly engaged, which means they're highly engaged with the content. It makes it so much easier to teach. We saw instant results in our test scores, a double digit increase in our end of grade state performance for our fifth grade students. And that has sustained, it has continued to be increases of eight, nine, 10, 12, and up to 19% one year. Laser successfully supports the needs of all students, as seen in subgroups of English language learners, special needs students, and economically disadvantaged students who also demonstrated increased learning outcomes. When we started with the, the science program, um, it, it, it just a light bulb came on, and I knew this is what every student needed. It's getting faster, whoa, whoa. but that's not really Students at laser schools displayed more instances of collaborative and hands-on learning. They practice workforce skills by working in teams and solving problems. When we do the experiment, we talk about it, we think about it, and we write about it. And, and we predict something and we write it in our journals and we see if our prediction is right. They're finding answers themselves. They're finding, you know, ways to, to go about the, the scientific method. Those are things that don't only get used in science. They get used every day, deductive reasoning, making inferences. And if you can do that in one subject, you can do it everywhere. And to hear my name 20 times in a class of, come see this, come see this, that's, boy, that just makes your heart sing as a teacher, right? That's what you want to see. The Smithsonian Science Education Center changes how science is taught. Oh! More importantly, we revolutionize how science is approached with exceptional support for our administrators, our teachers, and our students. The way I think of the Smithsonian, the museums represent the discovery and the invention and the innovation that has come to be. 
And when I think of the research that they do, that's sort of the invention, the discovery, and the innovation that is, is, is becoming or is coming to be. But I, when I think of the SSCC, I think of it as the discovery, the invention, and the innovation that's yet to come. And that's, that's what it's all about. It's about investing in our future, and that's our children. To learn more about the SSEC and to become a part of our movement to transform science education, visit our website at sec.si.edu.